is number 31, Salmon Run. Um, in my countdown through the top 50 games in my collection, uh, in my opinion. I'm um, going to try and get up to number 26 tonight. Um, got the house to myself, uh, so I'm going to take advantage of the, the quiet while I can. Um, so this is a deck building game. Um, those that have played with me before know deck building is my favorite uh, gaming mechanic. What happens is you'll have a deck of cards and you'll draw your hand and you'll add cards to your discard pile through the game and then you'll shuffle it back up and you'll draw those cards that you've added up adding into your discard pile. Um, so uh, in Salmon Run it's a game two to four players. Um, it's probably best with four, three or four. It takes 20 to 30 minutes to play. It's, it's relatively quick. Um, age probably nine and up. Um, difficulty two out of five. The um, what's great about this game is, or one of the cool things about this game, is the board is modular. It comes with um, quite a few of these boards, and they're double sided, and they are all interconnected. The only things you need at the you need the starting point and the spawning pond at the end. Um, and other than that, you can set up as long or short a board as you want, and that can help determine the game length. So you could you could conceivably, with all the pieces, and set them to the hard side, because there's an easy side and a hard side to the board. Um, it could take an hour, maybe maybe an hour and a half, if you're playing with four and you got some new players. But um, So the, the goal of this game, it's also a racing game, which is, uh, I like, and it's a deck building racing game, which is very unique. I don't know if there's another one out there. Um, you are a salmon trying to get to the spawning pond um, and you're competing against the other players to, to do that. So you'll have a hand of cards that will let you swim left, swim right, swim straight ahead, a wild card um, that lets you swim one space in any of the directions. There's a bear card that lets you move a bear two spaces and no you don't eat the the, the opposing player, you make them tired because they have to run away from the bear. So um, you'll get a fatigue card added to your deck. And a fatigue card is essentially a, a blank card. It's a dead card that has no, no use. Um, so when you get too many of them in your deck, you'll draw a hand and you won't be able to play. Um, so you can, you'll have a hand of four cards and you can play up to three of them. If you play three swim cards in a turn, you will gain a fatigue card. Um, there are spaces on the board that will let you get add cards to your deck. That's how they add cards to the deck. Most of the deck building games have you purchase cards with they have resources that you spend the card as a resource and buy. But this one is depends on where you move on the map. Um, will get you a card like uh, let's see, can you see that? It's it's got a W in that space, so you'd get a wild if you wound up ending 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 up there. There are waterfalls. You cannot end your move in a waterfall, but you can do two in a, uh, two movement cards. So say I was here, I could do a swim right and a swim forward, and I would essentially jump the waterfall. You cannot jump over land um, during, your, during your move. Um, other cards. There are rapid cards, which makes each player discard cards from their hand equal to the number of arrows that are on their space. So if you were here and you got the rapids played on you, you'd have to discard four cards and you wouldn't get a turn. But most of the places have two two arrows connected to them. Some of them have one. Some of them have none. Um, there are resting areas where you can actually get a card out of your deck. Um, if you land there, um, yeah, and it's pretty much a race. You're trying to slow the other players down. Um, there are current cards that uh, will force the, the fish backward one space with a current, and if they're on the edge of the water waterfall, they will zip, zip through um, the waterfall and go back two spaces. Um, yeah, it's, it's not too complicated. Um, and... Uh, People get the concept of fish going back to their spawning grounds and uh, being a racing game. 
it's uh, it's a little different. Um, yep, I've seen this for sale in some unusual places. Um, it like the uh, made in Maine shops and and that kind of the the Hallmark uh, store. Um, it's by Griffin Games, so you wouldn't think it'd be um, in one of those those other places, but it's the theme of the the salmon. Um, be a good game for up to camp um, to have on the shelf there because um, it'll get the the outdoors crowd um, interested with the theme. So yep, yeah, this is uh, Salmon Run number 30, uh, number 31. Stay tuned for number 30 for the kids.